Here we're going to talk about exponents, and we're going to do several examples. So what is an exponent? Well, an exponent is going to be a nice way to write a certain multiplication problem, and it's when you're multiplying the same number over and over and over again. So in this case, we're multiplying 5 over and over and over again, so that's the number that we're multiplying, and we're doing it 1, 2, 3 times. So we're going to read this 5 to the power of 3, because we're going to multiply 5 by itself 3 times. Okay, We're going to call this expanded form, because it has our numbers all multiplied out, and they're kind of all expanded like that. And we're going to call this form exponential form. And the reason we call it exponential form is because we're using an exponent, right? We have this exponent of 3 up here. So for another example, we could come down here, we could say something like 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, and that would be your expanded form. And as you write it in exponential form, that would be your number that you're multiplying over and over and over is 3, and you're doing it 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So we read this 3 to the power of 4. And that's what this means in expanded form and exponential form. In these two examples, let's take two terms that are in exponential form and go ahead and write them in expanded form. So this first one is 6 to the power of 5 which means I'm going to be multiplying 6 over and over again. In fact, how many times? Well, 5 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 6 to the power of 5 looks like this in expanded form. My other one is 7 to the power of 2, or you could say 7 squared, and that's going to be 7 multiplied by itself two times, because that two indicates how many sevens that we have. So we can call this seven squared as a special word we say when we have to the power of two. We also have another one. We can say four cubed. So this one's cubed to the power of three, and this one's squared to the power of two. And those are the only two that we have special names for. So seven squared means exponent of two, 4 cubed means exponent of 3. Now let's do some examples where we actually find the value of a term. So if we have 2 to the power of 5, we can rewrite this in expanded form and say 2 times 2. Remember, because 2 is the number that's multiplying by itself, and we're doing it 5 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now let's go through and actually do the multiplication. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8 for these two, 8 times 2 is 16 for these two, and then 16 times 2 is 32. So we went through and we went ahead and just multiplied all these 2's together and we got 32. So we're saying that 2 to the power of 5 is 32. In this next example we have 3 to the power of 4, so this means that 3 is the number that's being multiplied over and over again, and it's being multiplied by itself 4 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So as we go through and multiply this, we're going to say 3 times 3 is going to be 9, okay? And 9 times 3 is going to be 27, and then 27 times 3 is going to be 81. So we're saying that 3 to the power of 4 will be 81 when we multiply 3 by itself 4 times.